So guys, once again welcome back to Ahoy Navigos. We are continuing our longitudinal stability concept today. So first of all, let us discuss about what is hydrostatic draft. So what is hydrostatic draft? It is a draft measured at center of flotation of the ship. Last video we were discussing about what is center of flotation. Center of flotation is nothing but your center of your water plane area. So the draft measured at that point from the keel is known as your hydrostatic draft. Draft indicated in your hydrostatic particulars is your hydrostatic draft and it is a true draft of your ship. When ship is on even keel, hydrostatic draft will be exactly at your midship. That is, mean of your forward and aft draft will give you a hydrostatic draft. That means your COF is at midship. Also, when a ship is trimmed, its COF shifts towards trim side because water plane area is shifting more towards if the vessel is shifts trimmed by stone, the vessel water underwater volume will be shifted more towards the stone. So your COF will shift towards the more water plane area. So your COF will be aft, not midship. Therefore, hydrostatic draft is not at midship, it will be the draft at the new COF. So this draft we need to calculate. So let us see how we calculate this. An even keel vessel, you can see in the diagram below, as forward, aft, and midship draft are 6 meters. Aft 6 meters, forward 6 meters, and midship 6 meters. Since vessel is even keel, we can say the hydrostatic draft is 6 meter because your COF is at midship, and the mean of forward and aft 6 plus 6 divided by 12, you will get COF as draft as 6 meters. That is your hydrostatic draft. So now let's see. And the case changes. So initially, you have this is your even keel water line. Water line when your ship was at even keel, no trim. And when the ship is trimmed by stone, your water line was like this. Water line after trimmed by the stone is this is your water line, new one. This is W1L1. So in this case, you can see in the diagram, this is the draft forward we have. This is your up draft and a Parallel line to your ship's bottom keel from the forward draft to aft. Same one, that is your draft forward. So the difference between your forward draft and blue line aft draft will give you the trim. Similarly, also your COF was initially at midship and due to the trimming, the COF was shifted to this point. So what we need to find is this red line high draft. So let's see how we do that. If you see into this diagram, if you can see this half draft minus this red line, small red line, if you get what is the value of this small red line, you will get high draft. You can, you can su subtract it from the half draft. Also, if you know the midship draft and if you know the same red line, that is, these are the opposite sides of a same triangle. So if you know the value of red line, you can do it. Either you can subtract it from your half draft or else you can add it to your midship draft, you will get your high draft. So let's see how we do that. You need to consider the triangle FHJ. This, this F is COF, H is your midship initial and the J is the new midship draft. So this FHJ triangle, this angle theta tan theta, this will be angle theta tan theta, this will be same as here, tan theta is equal to opposite is HJ and adjacent is FH, that is UF, FH. So it will be H, HJ divided by HF, opposite by adjacent. So now, let's consider this as equation 1. And we need to consider another triangle, whereas this even keel water line and your draft forward, this baseline as what we did to transfer the draft from forward to off. These two lines are parallel lines. And your new water line is cutting close to it. So this theta and this theta, these both are alternate angles, so they are equal. So we can consider the other triangle tan theta as this being theta, opposite is trim, and the adjacent is LBP, the whole length. So it will be trim by LBP. Let's consider this as equation 2. And combining 1 and 2 equation, we can say HJ divided by HF is equal to trim by LBP. And we know HJ is equal to trim divided by LBP and we can transfer the HF to that side. 
So this is the equation of Hj. So now see in the diagram, the red line what we want to find to get your high draft is Hj. So we get the value of Hj by substituting trim by LBP into HF. If you know that value, you can easily calculate your high draft. So let's see how. If HF is given in the question, your HF length is given, correction is positive when COF is above 22. If you can see, if you know the value of Hj to your midship draft, you add, that means you plus it, then you will get the draft at high draft. And when the vessel is trimmed by head, you will be having more water here, so your high draft will be higher. So, correction is negative when COF is forward of midship, vessel trimmed by head. Similarly, in most of the cases in the problems, it will be given as aft draft. So, as we know, COF is given with respect to aft perpendicular, then what we need to do is then correction to be applied to your aft draft. If you know your aft draft and if you know the value of HJ, this is the same as red line, you know this value, when the ship is trimmed by stone, if you know aft draft, you subtract this correction, you will get your high draft. But in case of the equation will be correction is equal to trim divided by similar to this trim divided by L by P but instead of HF it will be AF. So trim by stern negative direction to updraft. When trim by head you can see the water volume will be more there. So your forward side will be having higher draft and the updraft will be less. So your high draft being forward you need to add something to your updraft to get your high draft. So, this is how we calculate your hydrostatic draft. Now, let us see what are the different types of trim problems. In trim, it is divided into type A, type B and type C problems. What is the difference between type A, type B and type C problems? Let us see. Type A problem. These are the problems in which limited informations are given. That means your TPC, MCTC, and AF are considered constant throughout. In actual scenario, it's never been constant. TPC and MCTC will differ from your density also for your draft. But in the case of type A problems, we are considering TPC, MCTC and AF as constant. And the trimming moments are taken about your COF. The moments are always taken with respect to your center of flotation. And in case of type B problems, all hydrostatic particulars are given. That means in your hinship or something, you will get the full particular table in which everything will be given for the, the drafts. So, in this case, the moments are taken about half perpendicular. In type A, we said the moments are taken about COF. Type B, the moments are taken about half perpendicular. And in type C, also the full hydrostatic particulars is given, but the moments are taken about midship. So, the type A problems, moments are taken about COF. Type B problems, half perpendicular. Type C problems, it's about midship. And in type A problems, you will be having only limited info. Type B and C, you will be having enough info. So, the type and B are more practical and TPC, MCTC, AF are not considered constant in this type B and C problems. Also, these values are obtained from your hydrostatic particulars. As you have seen in our last video, the hydrostatic particular table completely against draft, you will get all informations. So, how you identify the type A, type B and type C problems in your question. For type B and C, full hydrostatic particular of a ship should be given. Like your hinge ship or something, you will be getting the full data, a complete stability particulars in which your hydrostatic particulars will be given a table or something for each alternative drafts. So those types of problems you will be having, mostly the name of ship is given in these types of problems like your hinge ship problems. These are called as your type B and type C problems. And for the type A problems, limited information are given. That means you will be not having any name of any ship in your question. It will be given your whatever required like length, breadth and all. If and whatever information is required for solving your problem will be given in your question. And you consider TPC, MCTC, AF as constant. I hope you guys understood. We will be coming with more types of trim problems in future videos. Stay tuned to Hawaii Navigos. Thank you.